Kenya Airways took charge of the team three years ago after the sponsorship deal with another airline, Virgin Atlantic, ended. The KQ sponsorship entailed branded kitwear, travel costs and allowances. However, despite the heavy investment by the national carrier, the squad's performance in the last year has been inconsistent. KQ Chief Executive Officer Titus Naikuni, who was speaking during the official send-off of the squad for the third and fourth legs in New Zealand and the United States, is confident the team will prevail. We have confidence in you. We know you're going to do a good job, but even if you don't make it, you are still our team. No matter what happens, we will support you throughout. The team which has been conducting serious training ahead of the two legs to be held in Wellington and Las Vegas is under pressure to secure points. The Kenya Rugby Union chairman Richard Omuela is buoyant that the current squad which saw the return of core players, Collins Injera, Biko Adema and Sydney Ashoya, could rekindle hopes of a semi-final berth. We think... We've got a squad that is going to do us proud. The guys behind here are going to put their lives uh, on the line for, for Kenya, for themselves. And I think we're very proud. They've worked very, very hard to be, to be here. The national team is set to travel this Saturday for the Wellington leg, which will be held on the 4th and 5th of February. The leg is no mean feat for the squad as they're in a physical pool C, together with an inform Australia who have been impressive in the last two legs. They are also pulled with reigning World 7 Series champion Samoa, who trounced Kenya in their last meeting, and an unpredictable Tonga. Bernard Ndong for Citizen Sports.